We're back. You're watching Have You Been Paying Attention? We have five contestants locked in battle. Let's see if we can't separate the field. Mexico defeated New Zealand 5-1 in their World Cup soccer match. Where was it played? Sam. Azteca Stadium. Indeed, in Mexico City. What is the problem all visiting teams to Azteca Stadium face? Sam. Car parking. <laughs> In there fact, it's thin air due to the altitude. It's oh. at 2,240 oh. metres. There you go. So the New Zealanders will get to play them at home at sea level. Sea level. Sea level. Sea level yeah. Possibly a little bit below. I don't know what the ground is in New Zealand. Uh, in Wellington, it's uh, it's in a sinkhole, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, who is this? Ed. It's a female. Uh, South Korean soccer player, mm -hmm. and the other teams mm -hmm. won't play against her. They want her to have a, a gender test to prove that she is female. That's absolutely correct. Oh, she well, that's uh, she plays in the South Korean Women's and, Soccer League. And she's going to star in a movie <laughs> <laughs> called Gender Bend It Like Beckham. <laughs> Anytime yeah. soon. Exactly. Exactly. exactly right. Thank you very much. Exciting news from Beijing. China is about to get rid of what? <laughs> Celia. Um, the Great Wall? They're going to put in an electric fence. <laughs> yeah. Sam. It's not Lee Nah, is it? <laighs> the tennis player. Ed. Uh, one child policy. Indeed, the one child yeah, policy. Yeah, one child is Lee Nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just be ready. Let's be ready. Yeah. Uh, Why would you get rid of that policy? That is the best policy <laughs> I've ever heard. Is there any chance we could introduce that here? You, because hang on, you've just had twins, haven't you, Mickey? <laughs> I haven't. Could we hurry this up? They're in a car out the front. So, <laughs> we'll move it along. We should get cracking. Windows down. No, windows <laughs> down. I'm not an animal. <laughs> All right. This suburban home has just gone on the market. What's special about it? Jane. That is um, our former Prime Minister Julia Gillard's home, and oh. I think Tim might come as a chattel. Is that right? Oh, wow. <laughs> they probably can't. Little quite gnome in the front yard. I think so. 10 points, Jane. Whereabouts is that? In Altona in Victoria. Oh, that'll be a meth lab in about two weeks. <laughs> Name the 80-year-old singer who just kicked off an Australian tour. Jane. John Farnham. <laughs> Probably has kicked off a tour, but it is in fact Leonard Cohen. Take a look at these cricketers and tell me what charitable cause are they supporting? Ed. The Australian cricket team. <laughs> Give that they may grow. Uh, Nick. I'm guessing it's not Mensa. <laughs> I'm it's, 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 it's Movember. It's Movember. You can see ten points to you. The... Well done. What did, what did they do in the uh, in the seventies? In the oh, for Movember. Movember, Movember, is Movember was all year round. <laughs> and the problem with Mo Movember is it starts off it's really good because they, they look really porno, hmm. but by the end of the month they turn all green grocer. <laughs> There's a, there's a line you cross, isn't there? There's a tipping point in November. I want to have sex with you, I want to have sex with you, now I just want some lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists yeah. believe they've found Earth's earliest life forms. What are they? Celia. David and Margaret. <laughs> Uh, no, it's some um, bacteria from a very long, long time ago. A special Jetstar flight landed on the Gold Coast on Wednesday. It was the first... Oh. Sam. Jetstar plane to be on time. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I have here. Ed. Uh, it's a, a, a first Dreamliner, the 787 eight, Dreamliner. Yeah. Well done, Ed. In this week's The Bachelor, oh. Tim presented Ali with an envelope. What was in it? Jane, you must have been watching. Uh, it was a key. Mm -hmm. A key to... To the love shack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the love cottage. The love cabin. Oh, oh. close We'll pay enough. that, Jane. Thank there was a ransom much. note in there as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a restraining order. <laughs> the Lingerie Football League is about to launch in Australia. Where will you be able to see it? Nick. My lounge room, Friday. <laughs> Bring some nibblies and... Uh, it should be a good evening. <laughs> Celia. Is it channel 7 or 7, mate? Is 10 points oh. to Celia, which brings us to the halfway mark oh of the show. We're only halfway down. Can you believe it? Let's <laughs> check the leaderboard, and it's, uh, it's already shaping up as a pretty tight battle. Ed well out in front. Wow. Jane's doing well. Mick hanging Bang, here comes Mickey. <laughs> right, beautifully placed in the middle. Still in anyone's game. Let's find out what happens next when we return with more. Have you been paying attention?
Time now for our Newsmaker segment. Now, this is an opportunity for each contestant to focus on one person or event as their area of special expertise. Sam, you've chosen a woman very much in the news, the long-serving Bronwyn Bishop. Mm. What title was she given on Tuesday? Speaker of the House. How has she asked to be addressed? Madam Speaker or the Bish? <laughs> Madam Speaker. Who does she represent in Parliament? The Common Sheroes. <laughs> Otherwise known as McKellar. She once sang what duet with Tony Abbott at a Sydney fundraiser? I don't know the name of the song, but it was by Irving Berlin. Oh, you'll pay that a couple of swirls by Irving Berlin. Name her famous daughter. Angela. Tense Entertainment reporter. As Speaker of oh, Sam Pang, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a comprehensive knowledge. Well, moderately comprehensive. Jane, it's not a person, it's an event. The Winter Olympic Games to be seen here yes, live on 10 next year. They're coming from Sochi. Your time starts now. What is the game's slogan? Hot, cool, yours. What will the Olympic <laughs> site become after the Games? A Formula One track. Who are Sochi's mascots? A, a hare, a bear and a leopard. Wow. The IOC president has assured equal rights for whom at Sochi? All gays, lesbians and transgender. Everyone's welcome. Correct. The biggest fear for games organisers is a shortage of what? Snow. Correct. Name one of the new sports to be introduced at the games. <laughs> Just one. Darts? <laughs> oh, Jane Kenny, ladies and gentlemen, that was almost... What were you going to say, Jay? Icy darts. Icy darts. Like, <laughs> oh. snow, wait for this snowboard slope style. Oh, yeah. Team Relay Luge. Mickey does that. <laughs> That's how I'm getting home. <laughs> Ed, yep. who is very much the man of the moment this week, former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, who bowed Ooh, out of yes. public life on Tuesday night. You set? I'm ready. Let's go. What were the last words of his resignation speech? It really is time for me to split. Oh. No, zip, zip, zip. Pay that. Yeah. Who is he the member for? Uh, himself. <laughs> Griffith. What was his 2007 campaign slogan? Kevin 07. What other language does he speak? Uh, ghetto swag? <laughs> no, no, it's Mandarin. Mandarin. Pay that. Oh, no. What religion is he? He is a Catholic, but he goes to Anglican Church. Oh. And I have spoken to Jesus, and he's not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, happily, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was just about flawless. He's my guy. I'm voting for him next election. <laughs> Celia, you've been drawn like a moth oh. to the flame that is Shane Warne and Liz Hurley. Oh, someone's going to tackle the yeah. big back in Australia, Back in Australia <laughs> earlier this week to, to promote the Shane Warne Foundation. Mm -hmm. Celia, your time starts now. What was Liz missing when she joined Shane at his charity uh, launch? Her engagement ring. What? Correct. <laughs> what is the couple's nickname? Uh, it's Shirley, but I kind of hope it was Wiz. Like, oh, there's Wiz on the red carpet. <laughs> we'll take Shirley. <laughs> Celia, Liz was angry a few weeks back after finding what in Shane's bag? Uh, his old face. <laughs> <laughs> Would, uh, was in fact a second <laughs> mobile phone. <laughs> What pet names do they have for each other? Oh my gosh! So he, she calls him Big Blonde, and he calls her Luna because she's got a big mouth. How delightful! How endearing! Name Shane's underwear line. Uh, sticky wickets. <laughs> Spinners. Celia <laughs> Pakola, ladies and gentlemen. She knows her surely. All right, Mick, you've nominated an event, go. the glittering pageant that oh. was Miss Universe 2013. <laughs> Look, I might be a bit rusty on this. <laughs> it was a big weekend watching it. Mick, your time starts now. Where was the event held? In Moscow, in, uh, in Russia. Who won? It's Venezuela. This is my one bet of the year. I have. Uh, I box up in a trifecta. Miss Venezuela, Miss Brazil and Miss Argentina. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> Who won Miss Congeniality? M Miss China. Miss, Miss Serbia was forced to withdraw after judges discovered what? She was hung like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> a 
<laughs> she was in fact married. Oh, she was married. married. <laughs> Miss Montenegro was banned from competing. Why? Did, was she had fake breasts? Was that it? I think that would be an automatic <laughs> entry. No, no, she's not allowed. Is that right? No, she was too young, age 13. Age 13. <laughs> and married, if I know Montenegro. <laughs> girls, <laughs> girls appeared in swimwear, evening wear, and. And. Uh, is it, how do you describe it? National costume? Correct. Oh, yep. ladies and gentlemen, Mick Malloy, a man <laughs> who has spent a lot of time studying this year. And that brings us to the end of our Newsmakers round. Time to check the scoreboard. Let's see how it stacks up. And, well, Ed is still clinging to the lead. Jane close behind. Celia, well, good to have you along here this evening. <laughs> One last chance for everyone to make a lunge for the line when we return with Rapid Recall.